السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته 1997 I had to go to Iraq another time uh, for another Qurbani project uh, but this time we planned it better than the 1996 we agreed with this Syrian businessman to buy the sheep 2-3 uh, months before uh, Eid and to have it in his farm and to feed it and to uh, calculate the cost of feeding in the farm and actually the cost of slaughtering. So instead of uh, slaughtering uh, 600 uh, animals, we, this year, 1997, we slaughtered nearly 1,300 animals. Uh, at the time, I decided to take two people with me, Abdul Wahid, was a country director of Islamic Leaf in Holland and a young man, originally Moroccan, and Anwar Khan was the fundraising uh, manager of Islamic Leaf USA at Orkshi, who was in the late 20s at the, at the same time. So the three of us traveled the same journey, uh, maybe Amsterdam, Amman, Los Angeles, Amman, London, Amman, and from Amman, the three of us took the taxi, the private taxi, and went straight to uh, the hotel uh, and actually start having our own meetings before we went to stay in the farm to see the animals and to slaughter them. So we moved to the farm actually uh, the night of, of, uh, of Eid, inshallah, to prepare ourselves for the Eid day. On the Eid day, actually, we went to the same mosque that we visited last year with Aftab and the same thing no new clothes, no new shoes, no celebration for the whole country because there's no money. There's nothing. The only thing of the celebration there is or was to give them a nice meal on the Eid, on Eid day. Uh, at that time, we, after praying there, we went back to the farm and the, the process of slaughtering the animals and de skinning them and cutting them and bagging them actually started to happen. It was the three of us with the, with the landlord, with the farmer, with the businessman, and with the butchers. And we agreed with one of our actually businessmen who actually used to, we used to, to, to hire his uh, fridge vehicles uh, uh, the year before. And uh, he used to come and fill his uh, small vehicles with it and said that I'm going to put it in my fridge and put it in my fridge and so on. And we relied heavily that he has proper fridge system. On the third day of Eid, we started to distribute outside Baghdad. So I took a big vehicle, uh, truck, to go to Al Mosul. We know that Mosul, how far it is from Baghdad. And this was supposed to be for 1,000 family. By the time we arrived there and they opened the uh, the car or the truck, we started to smell the smell of the meat. And we discovered that this is not a fridge. He put only uh, ice, ice bars or ice cubes, or the, and we put on top of it the meat. And the meat went off. In front of whom? The mayor, the head of the chief of staff of the police, the head of Awqaf uh, municipality, and about nearly 1,000 families waiting for the feed, for the food at that time. It was a shock, a shock, a shock. I cannot imagine how bad an individual like this uh, to, to, uh, to screw us at that time. I was trying to do anything, just bending down, up, up and down, up and down, up and down, and actually till my back was, يعني, خلاص, I had what you call it, uh, spasm very severe spasm because of the sweat coming from my shoulders and the cold uh, water coming from the uh, uh, ice in the fridge so they actually took me two or three brothers hold me to the ground and people felt sympathetic with me alhamdulillah who did not hit me with a stone or with the shoes or with the slippers and they told the head of the awqaf municipality and the mayor you buy, I think, 170 animals, and tomorrow uh, you uh, slaughter it and will bring you the money back to you. The lesson learned from here is do not trust anybody unless you have an actual contract with this somebody. This man stabbed us badly at our back. Don't 
ever, don't ever in a field like this, where people are actually trying to cut edges of any contract to trust anybody. Have it written and see and observe the uh, fridges, the cars, and, and, and before you go there. Because you are dealing with people who are aspiration and hope to have a piece of meal, a piece of meat on the first or second day of Eid. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.